Okay, I'm going to do the air brake test. I need to make sure my tanks are full. They're not. I need to release my brakes first so I can build pressure up to the maximum capacity. Take it to 100 PSI so I can build it. Build pressure between 10 and 15 RPM and wait for my needle to settle down. Needle settled at 125 psi. My tanks are full. My first test is the applied leakage test. I put the truck in a low gear. I turn it off. I open the key. Then I step on the brake and hold it for one minute. My needle is reading at 110 psi. My minute starts now. In a combination vehicle like this, I should not lose more than 4 PSI per minute. Wait till your minute is over. Okay, my minute is done. Do not release the brakes. You need to reread it. My needle is still reading 110. We're going off the top one. It is a good test. For the next test is the lower warning light. The lower warning light comes on no less than 55 PSI. I'm gonna release pressure. Okay, it came on at 70. It is a good test. The next test is the pop out. The pop out occurs between 20 and 45 or no less than 20. Okay. In this case, both tractor and trailer valve popped out at 30 PSI. Sometimes one of them pops out first, it would always be the trailer at 30, keep going for the tractor. Stop and read the trailer and then continue with your tractor. Okay, for the next test, I need to safe start the vehicle, put it in neutral, build pressure, and fill up the tanks. My next test is the parking brake. Put it in low gear. Release trailer brake. We're checking track the brake. Let it roll a little bit and feel a tug. Working properly. Check trailer brake. Release track the brake. Clutch out slowly and feel a tug. Working properly. Release both brakes. We're checking the service brake now. Let it roll. Working properly. Put it in neutral. Apply the brakes. I'm done with the air brake test. I'm waiting for instructions.